Cemetery Junction. Now, Cemetery Junction was released in 2010 and is written and directed by Richard Vase and Stephen Merchant. Richard Vase and Stephen Merchant, who also wrote and directed all episodes of The British Office, all episodes of Extras, all episodes of The Last Two Show, and this film. But the thing is, though, even though I'm a fan of both Richard Vase and Stephen Merchant, I'd never heard of this film before. Not until one day when I was looking through Richard Vase's filmography and I saw this film. I saw he co-wrote it and co-directed it with Steve Merchant. So that naturally got me interested into the film. And basically, long story short, I ordered it on DVD and it came. And yesterday, I sat down to watch this film. And honestly, I think it's an underrated gem from both Victor Vase and Stephen Merchant. Basically, the film's a story of these three young lads who live in a small town in England who are trying to get the best out of their lives. And at the same time, they're trying to have as much fun as possible, and at the same time, they're also planning to run away together. But a lot of complications have to occur, particularly when women are thrown into this situation, particularly an ex-girlfriend of one of the lads, played by Felicity Jones, who becomes quite important in the grand scheme of things, and at the same time, they're forced to do their jobs, and at the same time, they're Problems in their personal lives, particularly problems with Tom Hughes' character and his father, who don't have the best relationship with. And at the same time, there are loads more of the complications. But the main plot of the film was around these three lads who are trying as much fun as possible in the town they live in and trying to get the best out of their lives. And at the same time, that we also follow them as they start to plan to run away together. And that's basically the plot of Cemetery Junction. And honestly, like I said before, this film is an underrated gem from both Rick Gervais and Stephen Merchant. Honestly, I'm a fan of both of their work. And honestly, this film did not to this point at all it is just it's a proper feel-good film in the best way possible like it's not a feel-good film that overdoes its joy like so many feel-good films nowadays like they're doing they, they overdo it a bit they, they'll have people like dancing and singing around like oh my god i'm so so happy or oh, look at me like yelling out how happy i am but not in this film i mean it's real feel-good it's a proper feel-good film in my opinion but at the same time though it doesn't overdo it it's not too corny it's not too over the top in fact i think that it's got the right amount of fun and the right amount of energy they just sit there and you go along with it and that's what i this film and honestly I just enjoyed it so 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 much I really did and honestly I just think I think it's a great film I really do I mean one thing I actually loved about this film was the energy the film's got really good energy which just swept me along with it and I just literally got yes I'm enjoying this film so much and I love the energy of it and at the same time though, I love the chemistry of all the main three lads that we follow in the film I think that was really good and I love their performances you really do believe that these characters are friends of the film and at the same time though their performances like bring the energy to the film as best as possible honestly so many scenes where you just kind of laugh along with them and finding so much fun in what they're doing and everything and at the same time though, I just love the way that the three lines storylines played out throughout the film I just think that was great and I really enjoyed their chemistry on screen and I really, really enjoyed the performances and I just I really enjoyed their character acts as well and at the same time though the film's also got some a bunch of other great supporting performances which I really enjoyed to watch you know Ray Fiennes popped on there he's quite funny in there at the same time though quite mean and everything you know you don't even want to trust him but he's actually quite fun to watch in the film and at the same time though Emily Watson's in there she's quite fun to watch in the film and at the same time though like I said Felicity Jones is in there a bit young Felicity Jones you know before she did role one and the third I think she's in this film and honestly I really enjoyed her fans in the film and at the same time though Matthew Good's in there and he's really enjoyable to watch and at the same time though Rick Gervais himself is in there and he's really funny to watch in the film and at the same time though the film has one funny cameo from Stephen Merchant himself which I laughed out loud at I thought that was a really funny scene in the film and at the same time though the film is funny I mean I wouldn't say it is as laugh out loud as say something as you know extras which is a comedy show that they wrote and directed after they did the British office I wouldn't say it's as funny as extras but at the same time though I wouldn't say that's necessarily a bad thing. The thing about Extras for me is I do think it's a really funny show, but sometimes it gets a bit too cringeworthy in my opinion. But this film, it was never really that cringeworthy. I mean, there's actually some really funny moments in the film which are just kind of make you laugh, but in a quite nice way. There's not not, not really any proper cringeworthy moments in the film that you would find in some like The British Office or some like Extras. And I quite like that about this one, the fact that it was funny, but not cringeworthy funny. It was just kind of funny, but in the way you want it to be. And I really liked that about it. And at the same time, though, you know, going on to that whole thing to do with the energy of the film. One of the reasons I absolutely love the energy of the film is just for its great soundtrack, for loads of great songs. Towards the start of the film, you know, Saturday Night's All I Find by Elton John comes on. It's like, oh yes, and now I'm really into the film. At the same time, though, Come On Feel the Noise by Slade is used at one stage in the film, and I love the way that was used in the film. You see Jack Doolan's character, you see characters go on stage at one moment in the film and actually sing that song, and I really like that in the film. And at the same time, though, you also have loads of other great songs in there. All the Young Dudes by David Bowie, that's a great song and that's used in there brilliantly. And at the same time though, The Rain Song by Led Zeppelin, one of my all time favourite songs is used in the film brilliantly. I really like the use of The Rain Song in the film. It's got loads of great songs in there and I just, I love the soundtrack of the film. And not only is the soundtrack fantastic within itself, it also uses all those songs in the soundtrack in the best way possible. 
honestly, the way they use the rain song in the film, like I said, one of my all time favorite songs ever, and the way they use that in the film is brilliant. The way they use Saturday Night to Wife for Fine, it really gets you in the mood and the energy of the film. And since I know, like I said already, the way they use Come on Feel the Noise, which is a brilliant song by Slade in the film, is just great. And honestly, there's just so many things I like in the film which just made me smile and go along with it. Honestly, it's such a fun and really enjoyable film with a really good heart as well. Like, all the characters have something wrong with them in the film, and all the characters are facing something in their lives at the moment, particularly Tom Hughes' character, who has a bad relationship with his father in the film. But all those serious parts of the film are just done so well, and they, in my opinion, they balance so well as well with the fun things in the film, which I just liked so, so much. And honestly, I just think it's such an underrated gem of a film. If I was going to have any criticisms, and I do about this film, it's the ending. I do like the ending, I do quite like the ending, but I do think it could have been better. I do think the ending could have been more drawn out, and we could have found out what's going to happen to these characters, and I just, I think the ending could have been a bit better. I do like the ending, I just wish it was a bit more drawn out, and we found out what was going to happen to all these characters in the end. Because in the end, all the characters and story arcs are finished off like a checklist. There isn't any big emotional moment you go, wow, at the end of the film. It just, it's a good ending, I just kind of wish it was a bit better. And at the same time though, some of the characters coming in out of it and kind of wonder what they're doing throughout the film. And at the same time, though, the film has loads of problems as well. It's not the best work of Stephen Merchant and Richard Vase. But honestly, I just thought it was great. I thought it was a gem of a film. I really did. Yes, I got my Christmas to do with it. But the thing is, though, in the long run, when I look back at this film, I'm just going to remember the amount of fun I had with it. The huge smile I had on my face through most of the film. I just found it so, so, so enjoyable to watch. And at the same time, though, I just love the way the film was written. And I just thought it was a proper feel-good film in the best way possible. Honestly, I really did. It's an underrated gem from Rick Gervais and Steve Merchant, which I just can't recommend enough. It's absolutely great, in my opinion. It's a proper feel-good film that doesn't overdo its corniness, doesn't overdo its feel goodness and in the end it just leaves you with a real feel good feeling and a huge smile on your face and I just enjoyed it so so much and so all in all I'm going to say Cemetery Junction I'm going to say that's an 8 out of 10. Honestly, like I said, I just think it's an underrated gem from Mick Gervais and Stephen Merchant. I hadn't even heard of the film till a couple of weeks ago. And then when I did, I wanted to check it out as soon as possible because I liked their work quite a lot. But the thing is though, I was very hesitant of it because I hadn't heard of it. So I didn't think it went down that well and I thought there was a reason for that. I didn't think it was going to be any good. But actually, about 5 minutes in the film, I just got swept along with it. Just the energy of the film, just the enjoyment, just the chemistry from all the characters and all the acts in the film. And at the same time, though, I just, I enjoy myself this film so, so much. By no means is it brilliant, but you know what? I just, I just found it one of the most enjoyable films I've seen in a long, long time. I really enjoy myself with this film. And I thought, it was just, I just thought it was a real, I just thought it was a real gem of a film. By no means is it perfect, like I said, by no means is it brilliant. But the thing is though, it made me laugh when it needed to, but it has a really good heart. And at the same time though, I really enjoyed watching all the characters in the film. I really enjoyed the energy, I really enjoyed watching these characters' stories grow throughout the film. And I just, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a thoroughly enjoyable film, with a real good heart. And at the same time though, a proper feel-good film that doesn't overdo its feel-goodness. And at the same time though, just... One gem of a film that I really, really enjoyed watching. And so, all in all, I'm going to say the Cemetery Junction is an 8 out of 10 for me. Anyway guys, what do you think of Cemetery Junction? Please do comment down below and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Anyway guys, thank you as always for watching and if you haven't yet, please do click down below and like subscribe on this video and look forward to many more both film and TV views come very, very soon on this channel. See you guys again soon, but bye for now, bye!